Hi campers, it's Jason and Mitch from Rangeland RV and we're super excited to show you the all new 2021 GeoPro 19BH. Uh, this little trailer has a front queen bed, bunks for the kids, and uh, how much does this weigh? 3,100 pounds dry weight. 3,100 pounds and it's a smidgen over 20 feet from the front of the hitch to the back of the bumper. So you get this really compact, lightweight trailer you can pull with almost anything. And when you guys get a chance to see inside, you're gonna see how many amazing features and what an awesome floor plan it is. I'm gonna actually bore you guys a little bit with some construction. I'm gonna turn it over to Mitch after I'm done that and let him tell you about some of the fun stuff in this trailer. Um, so let's just start at the front of the trailer. And I'll tell you about some of the things that make the Rockwood Geo Pro such a great quality trailer. In our industry today, we definitely see different levels of quality. I put the Geo Pro without exception at the very top of the pack. So starting with this trailer's construction, they've taken, they build this trailer the same way they build their high-end luxury fifth wheels. This is a six-sided aluminum cage. It's all vacuum bonded, but they, instead of using that wood back called Luon, they've replaced it with a product called Asdel. It's a composite wallboard. It's lighter, it's much stronger, it has a better insulation value, but most important to our clients is it's completely water resistant. Another thing that I love that GeoPro does, like many other Forest River products, is there's no chipboard, there's no Dynaspan flooring in this. It's a 5 8 piece of tongue and groove plywood floor decking in this trailer, so if you ever do have an issue with water, or if you just want a stronger, better quality floor, you have to go into the Rockwood to do so. Um, you'll notice on this trailer, when we get into this category of trailer, it's a rarity to see this. This is a front molded fiberglass cap with a full automotive windshield in it. Now, what's the benefit of this? When you look around and you guys are shopping at trailers, you're gonna see them take a sheet of fiberglass and they're gonna wrap it around the top and they're gonna secure it at the very top of the trailer. When you're traveling down the road, it's always under a, a amount of tension there, and that's where we always see trailers leak. But with the GeoPro, they've taken that molded front fiberglass cap, they've secured it over the front, there is no tension when you're rolling down the highway. And then on top of that, they've put it on a torsion axle running gear system with the standard off-road package. So we get independent suspension on each wheel, we get extra ground clearance with that axle riser kit in it, and we get a rugged all-terrain tire and on a single axle trailer. I think that gives people a lot of comfort knowing that they have such a more of a durable uh, tire even because they only have the two tires. That torsion axle is also gonna keep that trailer in tow and reduce sway. Okay, we'll see also at the front of the trailer, uh, a power tongue jack, two 20 pound balls. I'm not gonna get too much into that. One more thing I'm gonna talk about, uh, the technical part. Quickest recovery hot water heater in it, so you're not gonna run out of hot water. And then a solar power system that nobody that rivals everybody. So 190 watt hard mounted solar panel. It's the Go Power product line. It's some of the most respected solar in the industry. It also comes with a thousand watt inverter. And if you don't know what that is, it's simple. You wake up in the morning and you guys are dry camping and just using your batteries. You press a button and it turns your batteries and activates your wall plugs so you can plug in your coffee maker and make yourself a nice shot of espresso to get your day started. I'm gonna turn it back over to Mitch because he's gonna tell you some of the super cool stuff on this trailer. What do you love? Well guys, as you can see here, there's no lack of this coach. One thing that I've always loved that the GeoPro has done really well is they utilize the almost the full length of the trailer with that awning. They put that nice LED strip underneath. It lights up your campsite, makes everything look gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> another thing that's uncommon that you're not going to see in a trailer this size is that pass-through storage. A lot of people want to pass through storage, but they all want it within 20 feet, and that's not very common that you're going to find that. I actually also see a lot of this small style trailer. They put the one door on this side yep. and then they just put a big cavity there without another door on exactly. the other side. So I, I mean, I don't know how people get to stuff in the back part of the trailer unless you like shove your kid in yeah. there or something. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's a fantastic feature as Absolutely. well as that's really nice too. Right. When you're looking at this, when you're getting into this category, it's not common that you're going to find things like magnetic door catches, that type of stuff. Like I said, there's no lack of options on this coach. Um, the other thing that I love, Jay, Jason and I, we have two small girls and they, they have equipped on these, these more ride solid steps. They also this year upgraded them so that you just have to push this in and it easily slides out. There's no pin inside of there like there was previous years. But the main advantage of having these is that they're, they're sturdy, not like the traditional trailer steps that you see on a lot of comparables in the market. I love it. Secured to the ground so you're not shaking the trailer when you're going back in. 
low tread so your kids can go up and down the trailer really easily and that large entry assist grab handle um, or cocktail handle as we like to call it sometimes as well. Right. You can see standard this year you have that um, off-road package with that 15 inch off-road mud tire. Um, you're also getting tire pressure monitor system on there. Being a single axle it's nice to know if any of the wheels are getting low, right? That's an amazing system. It's so huge. It's a digital system. There's a sensor inside your tire that sits on the hub of the tire. And so it measures heat and air pressure in your tire. You get a digital display on your dashboard. So as you're traveling down the highway, if you notice if a bearing needed to be greased and was heating up, it's gonna indicate that yeah. to you. The number one cause of blowouts on any tire is uneven tire pressure. So you can always monitor what's happening in your tires. It's an incredible system. I know of two, two products that carry it and it's the GeoPro or the Rockwood line. And it's a really, really expensive uh, high-end luxury fifth wheel as well. So you get a ton of amazing value in this. Mm -hmm. I love what they did with their These instead are awesome, of the barbecue eh? this year, right? Yeah, you can do eggs, pancakes, whatever you like on there, burgers, right? Um, and it just connects right there down with your Quick Connect propane. It's going to feed off your two 20-pound propane tanks up there in the front. Um, yeah, I'm going to take you around back and I'm going to show you one of the best parts about this trailer. So you're gonna notice, first thing you're gonna see is this big giant ladder. In our industry, when you see a ladder like this, it's gonna indicate that you do have a walkable roof. Um, you can get up there, check your seals for your yearly maintenance, uh, make sure that everything's good. Um, roughed in backup camera in case you did wanna install one. You can, it's plug and play ready to go. Black tank flush. Flush out your septic system. After you've emptied your tanks, you can clean that tank from the inside out and uh, put your trailer away nice and sanitary as well. Yeah. Now, one of the main features of this floor plan is going to be pack your, your pack and play storage door. Um, I'm going to open it up for you. So, I'll go, I'll go uh, and open it. Can you open that for me, Jay? Now, this pack and play door has uh, the bottom bunk folds up as you're going to see here in a second when Jason opens this. There we go. This is amazing, especially if you have young kids, you want to bring their bikes, everything to the campsite, lawn chairs. This is going to fold up and while you're, while you're, in, um, while you're, while you're driving to the campsite, you can put in here the bikes, the lawn chairs, everything. It's nice and tall, so there's definitely a lot of room for all the additional stuff that you got to bring with you. All right, let's take you inside the trailer here. Are we checking this thing outside? Yeah, let's go on in. Okay. Big well, changes this year, right? Huge. The first thing you're going to see right now is the new port ash color. They changed the interior. They went with this very modern looking um, color and it brightens everything up. I'm sitting on an orthopedic uh, Serta mattress yeah. this year. It's definitely, uh, if you've owned a trailer before, you know that the, the, the mattresses are not always the most comfortable, but- uh, Usually RV mattresses are stuffed with old newspapers. Yeah. But like, <laughs> like when I hear when, when I hear a person say, I love a firm mattress, I'm like, perfect. <laughs> I've got a mattress for you. Yeah. That's not the case in here though. It's nice and comfortable. Um, you're also gonna see right beside the bed, um, you do have two units. USB ports and two, um, two plugins two plug as well. So if you do have a sleep machine, a lot of people nowadays um, are you using them. You can plug it in right there. That's a really good point. You got full storage up here above my head. Your entertainment center is right here. Um, you do get a Bluetooth stereo system. You do have a Wi-Fi ranger on there. So if your campsite has um, Wi-Fi, you can connect to it, pull that signal, and you're not going to be the guy standing around the, uh, the head office at the campsite trying to get a strong That's signal. Right. So right? I was just flashed over onto the master control panel there. It's going to give you your tank indicating levels. It's mm -hmm. going to allow you to uh, flip a switch to, um, it's going to flip a switch so you can light your hot water heater. It's mm -hmm. a gas and electric hot water heater. Mm -hmm. One of the features that we put on all our GeoPros um, at Rangeland RV because we want our campers to get to experience um, the shoulder seasons of camping in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. And so 12 volt heat pads on each tank, those yeah. 12 volt heat pads, they have thermostats built into them. So it's gonna get cold at night, might be beautiful in the mountains during the day, start to freeze overnight. So we'll flip on those 
heat pads and uh, they'll kick on and ensure that your water doesn't freeze up overnight. Um, mm -hmm. I love that new feature. The sink. Yeah. Right. Huge. If you've owned a GeoPro before, you've seen uh, videos on GeoPros, you'll notice that they've definitely um, changed the size of the sink. They've gone with a bigger sink, a deeper sink. Uh, so you get a stainless steel. Uh, you can actually fit a pot in there, clean it properly. You get a three burner stove. Um, I mean, like it's just full of character. They went to a much bigger fridge this year. That little 12 volt fridge is incredible. Yeah. So because we do have that 190 watt solar panel um, already included as standard on this coach, you're never gonna have to worry about battery life. The 12 volt fridges is, is something that has um, is been introduced for the last few years in our industry and it has caught fire. Not actually, but <laughs> the idea about it is this. That fridge will cool three times quicker than any gas absorption Absolutely. fridge. Yeah. I know that when I start to go, when I get my trailer ready to go camping, I have to roll it up and plug it in overnight to cool my fridge down, to have it cold enough that I can put my, my food in it. This fridge, you just turn it on and you'll find, like you'll be shocked at in an hour how cold that fridge yeah. is. So uh, I'm all for it, right? With the right, with the solar system on it, with that nice big 12 volt fridge, this is a really cool off-grid camper, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna have Alec walk behind us and then I'm gonna take them through uh, the bathroom, yeah, show cool. them some amazing stuff. So you're gonna notice inside this inside this bathroom. Okay, so I'm getting in. I'm getting in the tub. All right. So first thing you're gonna see is you, there's like I said, there's a lot of character inside this. They 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 pay really close attention to detail. Uh, like you have a toothbrush holders. You have a place to set your cup. It's going to set it out into the air. It's not going to combine here in the trailer. Uh, you do have a what's called a fantastic fan. That thing can suck out 900 cubic square feet of hot air out of this trailer in under a minute. And then one of the amazing features, and you don't commonly see this in a lot of comparables in the market, is going to be this Aquaview shower miser. Now you can see that L bracket there is blue. What that's going to do is when you want to have a shower, um, you turn the water on. That's going to pull the water from your hot water tank and bypass it right back into it until the water heats up. When that water heats up, that L bracket's gonna turn white. You turn the, um, the bypass valve back on and it's only hot water that's coming out of there and it's only that water that's gonna go into your gray tank where in a traditional style way that they used to have it, all of that water that you're waiting for it until it gets hot is gonna go right into your gray tank. So it's definitely gonna make sure that you're utilizing water efficiently. All right, I'll take you back to the front. Let's head back on inside. Well, all right, folks. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I strongly encourage you to go to rangelandrv.com. You can view our inventory online. We are Alberta's uh, largest forest server dealer and one of Western Canada's largest forest server deal dealer. If uh, you guys want to learn more about GeoPros, we're going to have all of the floor plans, uh, virtual tours of them all. So just click on our YouTube channel. It's Rangeland RV on YouTube. Visit us at rangelandrv.com or even better, come on down and visit us in person Absolutely. at Rangeland RV in Rocky View County, just north of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Thanks for watching.